So, as you guys know, yesterday was the November event. I was busy yesterday, so I couldn't cover it yesterday, so I'm a bit late. That's okay, because I've got a, got a really interesting video for you guys. So, we got Max, as we were expecting. So, there was this report we'd get the 16-inch MacBook Pro, and like I thought, that ended up being wrong, so that was not really surprising, but it was something to consider. But, yeah, we got no iMac, which is disappointing. I really wanted an iMac, but, yeah. So, MacBooks. We got two MacBooks and one Mac Mini, actually. So, we got the MacBook Air, which we were definitely expecting. And we weren't really expecting a redesign, but I was hoping for it, but I wasn't expecting it. Hopefully we get a redesign next year or something. Maybe they were just too busy this year, so yeah. I totally understand why the designs are the same, but the battery life is better on the MacBook Air because there's no fan, so it's a lot better, and which is really good also. And there's also the 13-inch MacBook, and those ARM chips are really cool, so there needs to be less fans. And this one also had very good battery life, so it was more powerful. We didn't get the 16-inch MacBook Pro, but we did get... So the slightly lower ended ones, medium and low, but yeah. So, no fans on the MacBook Air, which is, I think is really cool, because you don't have that one noisy fan going <laughs> while you're like browsing the web or something <laughs> simple like that. But yeah, so the, that is very exciting, new battery life, and yeah. So, we also got a Mac Mini which had a redesigned cooling system and it had like this black thing on the back which I thought was really cool. Yeah, that seemed to be a lot more powerful and it supports the Pro Display XDR which uh, doesn't make sense at all because I think, wouldn't you like have a Mac Pro or a MacBook Pro or something? But whatever. These CPUs and chips and all of that are really important because it means this sets the future for Max, and that means we can do a redesign. We didn't have it today, but we still can do it. And I'm not really a fan of the wedge shape design, so hopefully next year, hopefully not the year after, but I hope next year, we will have a boxy design, more like the iPad Pros. This is kind of a boring event. It only went for 45 minutes, which I think they should have bundled those three events together this fall because I actually think they may have recorded it all in one because Tim Cook said good morning at the start but not in those two so yeah and it's slightly annoying we it was only 45 minutes which is really annoying I thought they were gonna announce something else when Tim Cook was starting to go and blah 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 we've had a really good time and Max Revolutionary and he was getting vague, which I thought there was going to be an iMac or something, but I guess not. Oh, also no AirTags. Hopefully those will be released next year. They're very boring though, so I don't really care, to be quite frank with you. And these chips are really important to me, personally, because I've always wanted Macs to be this dream Mac with the square design and the thin bezel, I want to live in the future with that. And the sooner we move to the new redesign, the better it is. And I just really want to use one of those redesigned amazing Macs. Because Mac OS, in my opinion, is the best operating system. And the hardware is okay, but a bit lagging behind the competition. It's great, don't get me wrong, but it's... It's nice and powerful, but the design isn't as good. So, yeah, I just, I just want the amazing Big Sur software with the amazing redesigned Mac. And yeah, these chips will help bring that in real life. 
So yeah. Anyway guys, thank you for watching so much. Bye.